Um, so the question of what type of set do you enter into a psychedelic experience is really, um, it's a really, the answer to that is really mutable. So the question of whether or not it's a good idea or a beneficial idea to take psychedelics when you're in a negative headspace or say in a space of being sad or anxious or fearful or, or what have you um, would really depend on the context. So if you're really, really afraid of taking the psychedelic and you're going into it with a fear of the experience itself, that's probably not a good time to take it. Though for me, I found that one of the most um, beneficial uh, ex like times to take psychedelics is when I'm feeling depressed because I feel like if I'm feeling depressed or sad or angry or what have you you know there's there's some sort of really charged emotion happening inside of me that likely isn't bred of the recent experiences that I've had but are actually sourced in some childhood trauma that's been developing since uh, you know since that moment and is only swelling up to be so intense right now because of that like um, uh, combination, the cumulative effect of all these experiences throughout my life. And so if I'm upset or angry, it's probably sourced in some deep childhood thing that I've had, you know, ego defenses up and mechanisms to protect myself from for years and years. That even if I am consciously trying to like go in to feel how I'm hurt, I'm gonna, my like ego is gonna hijack my attempts to do so and really block me from seeing what's going on inside of me. So, and, and, and it's going inside to that point of, you know, like where is this anger and pain coming from? Like how do I access it at a deeper level so I can really get it out? The psychedelics allow us to do, they allow us to like dissolve um, the psychological mechanisms that are being employed to protect us from uncomfortable experiences or to protect us from this uh, this past trauma that might be and is likely associated to why someone would become depressed or upset um, in the present moment you know catalyzed by maybe more recent events which are actually more superficial expressions of uh, of like this deeper trauma but also like going into the psychedelic experience when in a state of despair or anger or anguish or depression is not a safe choice you know like it's not easy and if you're gonna go do it by yourself for example like there's a lot of dangers involved in going into those dark places because like if you don't have like a calm grounded center a sense of faith and trust and some sort of supportive force um, moving through you then there's a really good chance that you could hurt yourself you know like psychologically hurt yourself if you're going to those places so I mean for me doing it when you're feeling depressed can be really beneficial, but for another person, it could be the thing that puts them over the edge for the rest of their life. So, I mean, I really just, to me, it's like check in, like, can you handle that? And if you don't think you can handle it on your own, do you have someone you can trust? You know, again, I mentioned the idea of having institutionalized psychedelic psychotherapy for healthy individuals that are having challenges in life. That'd be fucking awesome. Can we please get that going soon? <laughs> please? <laughs>